Hey guys, it's Aaron, and today we're going to talk about auto text in layout. This is a, a request that came up quite a bit. We had uh, several people ask for different layout workflows. Some of them were pretty in depth, some of them were very specific, and uh, some of them were more general. And this was one of the more general ones. People are questioning how auto text works uh, and wanted some more information on it. So. That's what we're gonna do. We're gonna hop in and look at that right now. Okay, so I'm in a layout document right here and I'm gonna start very, very simple, simple as I can get with auto text. So uh, if you go up to text, you'll see this insert auto text, but you'll see that it's blank. It's, or it's grayed out, you can't do anything. Auto text can only go into a text box. So I need to come in and create a container for it. So I'm just gonna come in here, create a rectangle like that. And then when the prompt's there, so it's ready for me to put in text, now I can go to text and I can say insert auto text. Um, so I'm just, I'm not going to go into length about what every one of these does, what every one of these, how each one of these works. Um, I'm gonna stay pretty high level. This, these are all documented, uh, the customizing auto text, that's all pre-documented. I wanted to kind of talk more just about how to use this. So let's do something like um, file name. So I'm gonna put file name in here. You see, when you do that, it does show up as file name in caret brackets. Uh, when you're editing the text box, it'll always show up that way. As soon as you leave that text box, it will change to whatever the auto text is calling. In this case, it's calling the name of the file. This file is not the SketchUp drawing that's connected here. These are actually three different SketchUp models. So this is not the SketchUp model. This is actually the name of the layout document. So really important, a lot of people do this and they're like, well, this is not the name of the SketchUp file. That's not what this is. This is the layout document name. Um, you'll also notice that if I, uh, so if I come in here, double click on this, the font, the size of the text is the same. So when I leave here, it is the same. So if I do wanna change that, it's. This gets a little clunky, a little, a little confusing because the, the actual file name, of course, is much longer than what's here. But if I was to go into uh, the text window, oops, no, I'm sorry. Let's go back in there. I clicked the wrong thing. Uh, let's go into the window and go into show fonts. Then I can actually say I want to make that bigger. Let's make it like a 10 point font. It'll get larger. And then when I exit, of course, it'll show like that. Um, from there, I don't know how, I want to hold on to this. I'll just stick this top of the sheet like no one would ever actually do, but we're gonna put it there for right now. Okay, so pretty simple how that works. It's automatically grabs text from somewhere, but I wanna show kind of like, what are some other things we could do with this? So I'm gonna grab another text box, throw it right down here, and I'm gonna type uh, page space, and I'm gonna go to text, insert auto text, and we're gonna say, uh, page number, uh, and they'll say of space and then text, uh, insert auto text, page count. And uh, let's see how that looks. Oops. I always hit enter afterwards. You don't hit enter, you just click outside the box. So now this is telling me this is page one of three. If I look over here, sure enough, page one of three, of course it doesn't count the cover in page numbers. Um, so I could take that then and don't need it that big. We could definitely make it smaller like this. Uh, maybe I'll move it over here into this corner. Um, let's say, I'm just gonna go a little bit further. I'm gonna put a box around it. I'm just gonna come in here. I'm just gonna create a square like this. And then I'll take my text and my rectangle, just group those. There we go. Now I have an asset that I could actually take to another page if I wanted to. So I can take this and hit Command C to copy it. We'll jump to page two. I'm gonna say edit, I'm gonna say paste, and now see how that automatically updated? If I go to page one, it's one of three, two says two of three, and of course, if we were to jump onto page three, it would say page three of three. But I can see that automatically updates because it's auto text and not just, you know, dumb text. So, I mean, text isn't smart or dumb, it's just, it's not automatic, the other text in the world. So these auto texts are super easy. I think a lot of people make this a little more difficult than they need to. Um, so what could I do with this? I could actually save this as part of the template. Again, I 
maybe not the best place to put a page number, probably make more sense to put it in the title block, but you can see here clearly how that works. So if I save this in the template, this would automatically pick up and place that data in there, put automatically what number of how many numbers pages, it would automatically do that. Or I could save that into a scrapbook item too. So let's look at how scrapbook items work. Um, so one of the things with auto text is that when you place it, uh, it is conscious of where you're placing it. So for example, if I grab this one right here and I sit, bring this and I just drop it like right here, it says scene name scale, there's no information in it. This is auto text. You can see by the carrots, scene name and scale are auto, auto text. They should be pulling up information, but because I dropped it, it looked around where I put it and said, well, there's nothing here to inference. So here's your auto text. I'm gonna delete that, grab that exact same one, Emma, drop it on the drawing. So when I do that, I'm gonna pull it out here. It comes up and it says, okay, the name of the scene in this window is welcome. So let's go verify that real quick. I'm gonna come up here, sketch it model. Yep, that scene is welcome. And the scale is scale. Well, yeah, currently I just don't have a scale set. It's just whatever size it is. So let's fix that real quick. Let's go to scale and let's go grab a solid scale. One inch equals 40. And that's gonna update. There we go. bigger and then I will replace that auto text. So we'll just go ahead and I'm just going to delete that. And I'll just grab it again, drop it on the drawing, boom, put it right down here, welcome, scale, and you can see the other thing it's doing right here is it has these leader lines. They're not visible when I click outside. When I click on it, it tells me where is this auto text pulling from. So this, this scene name, Welcome is pulling from this this box. The scale is pulling from also same same model. And I can only see those leader lines if I select it. But then that automatically updates and uh, shows you the information based on what's in here. But you do have to take those and drop them onto the thing you want to inference first and then move them. That's the thing that a lot of people trip up on that and end up, ah, I'll just type it in, doesn't matter. Uh, if you just make sure it's connected, then you shouldn't have a problem with putting that auto text on there. So this was an intro. This was a, a teaser. I realized that we really hadn't spent a lot of time on auto text for years, maybe. Um, we can go into a little deeper depth if that's what you guys want. If you want to, if there's specific things with auto text you want to see, or, or there are other things, other parts of layout you would want to see, we'd love to hear about it. If you like that video, click like down below. And if you haven't already, please do subscribe. We create several videos each and every week and you'd be notified of all of them if you subscribe. Most importantly though, do leave us a comment down below. Uh, is there something else in layout you would like to dive into? Or is there some other piece of the SketchUp deliverable verse that you think we should dive into? Love to hear about it in the comments. We like making these videos a lot, but we like them even more when they're showing something you wanna see. Thank you.